Okay, so the subject is uh, for a correlation one or MG, uh, ME, Mechanical Engineering Review. So lecture one is for algebra and trigonometry. Algebra. Okay, unahin natin yung equality, which is the state of being quantitatively the same. So yan, lagi siyang merong equal sign. So, properties of equality, siyempre yung reflexive property, like this one, x equal to x. Symmetric property, if x equal to y, then y is equal to x. Transitive property, if x is y, and y is equal to c, then x is equal to c. <laughs> Addition property, if, y, if x is equal to y, then x plus c is equal to y plus c. So, Subtraction properties, if x is equal to y, then x minus y is equal to y minus c. Multiplication property, if x is equal to y, then x c is equal to y c. Division property, if x is equal to y and c is not equal to 0, then x is divided by 0 is, is equal to y divided by 0. Distributive property, we have x times y plus c is equal to x y plus x c. Substitutive property, if y is equal to x, then x can be substituted for y in any equation without changing the truth value of the equation. Medyo bilisan natin. Mahalaga to. Review lang naman. So, properties of real numbers. There are closure properties of real numbers. So, like if a and b are real, then so as a plus b. Next, if A and B are real, then so is A B or A times B. Next is the commutative properties of real numbers. A plus B is equal to B plus A. A times B is equal to B times A. <laughs> yeah. Associative properties of real numbers. We have in close in parentheses A plus B, then plus C is equal to A plus in, in close mo sa, in parentheses yung B plus C. Equal yan. Then A times B, enclose mo yon times C, is equal to A times the enclosed nong B times C. Next, identity properties of real numbers. We have A plus 0 is equal to 0 plus A is equal to A. So 0 is the additive identity. Next, A times 1 is 1 times A is equal to A. So 1 is the multiplicative identity. Yan ang tawag dyan. So in those properties of real number, we have A plus negative a is equal to 0, and negative a is the additive inverse of a. And where a is not equal to 0, so a times 1 over a is equal to 1. So 1 over a is the multiplicative inverse of a. Then multiplica multiplicative property of 0, we have a times 0 is equal to 0, times a is equal to 0. Division property of 0, where a is not equal to 0, so 0 divided by a is equal to 0. Distributive properties of real numbers, so a times b plus c is equal to a times b plus a times c. Then b plus c times a is equal to b times a plus c times a. Yan, mga simple oh, operation lang yan. Minsan nakakalimot mga, yung mga college. Binibigay din to. So, least common multiple, we'll say, na nasa material plumbing. Least common multiple, also called the lowest common multiple or smallest common multiple. It's the smallest positive integer that is multiple of both A and B. Example, one is, what is the LCM of 4 and 6? Multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. So, and the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. So, common multiples of 4 and 6 are simply the numbers that are in both lists. We have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and so on. Yan ang mga multiples. Pareha sila pwedeng i-divide yung 4 and 6. So, the less common multiple of 4 and 6 is the smallest one of those, which is 12. Okay, ito yung mahabang solution. So, lowest common denominator or least common denominator, abbreviated LCD, is the, is, ito yung pinakaunang LCD, is the smallest positive integer that is a multiple of denominator. So, what is the LCD of 5, 12, and 11, 18? It's 36 because the least common multiples of 12 and 18 is 36.
Next, common, greatest common factor is by definition the largest number that factors evenly into two or more larger numbers. The greatest common factor of 15 is and 25 is 5 because 5 is the largest number that goes into 15 and 25. Exponents. So, exponents tayo. Mga di pa marunong mag-add. Which is a shorthand way to show how many times a number called the base are multiple, multiplied times itself. Yun ang definition ng exponent. So, ito yung mga law of exponents. So, check yun na lang. Mayroon tayong example dito. Diba? So, this is under review. So, ayan mga formula. Pumaba to. Yeah. So, next, radicals. Ayan, yung mga square root, cube root. So, a radical or root is the mathematical opposite of an exponent in the same sense that addition is the opposite of subtraction. So, the smallest radical is the square root, represented with symbol. Ayan. The next radical is cube root, represented by the ito, symbol. The smallest, the small number in front of the radical is its index number. Okay. So, cube root is 1 over 3 ang exponent. A square root is 1 of ang exponent. So, ito yung law of radicals. So, how to multiply, how to divide, and how to uh, exponent for it. Algebraic identities. So, common na sa inyo to. A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B times A minus B. Di ba? Yan. Ito yung iba pang factoring. Monomials, binomials, polynomials, and degree of monomials. So, monomials, isa lang, 70, kasi mono, or 3xy, or negative 4x, isa lang. Binomial, pagdalawa. Okay? Trinomial is the sum of the three mon monomials. Sum niya. Pag negative, positive, pag sinamo. Yan, pag, yan. Polynomial is the sum of n monomials for whole number n. Whole number, kasi hindi mo pwedeng mag sum of one third no monomial. So, wala na ganun. So, degree of monomial is the sum of the exponent of all its variable. So, so the degree of monomial, 7y cubed c squared is 5. Dahil 3 plus 2 is 5. So, yan yung degree. Highest degree naman. Next, ano na yan? Yan ang degree ng monomial. 3 plus 2 is 5. Fifth degree. Numeric coefficient and equation. Numeric coefficient, for example, in terms 3a, the number 3 is the numeric coefficient of the term a. So equation, for example, x plus 3 is equal to 5. Asserts that x plus 3 is equal to 5. Ito ang ibig sabihin ng equation. Okay? So numeric coefficient pala, lagi siyang at the left. Okay? Yung iba kasi yung coefficient nyo, 3. Iwan ko, mga 50 or 40 na gumagawa pa ng coefficient na sa kabilang side. Di ba? Lagi dapat siya sa left side before the variable. Types of equation. So, linear equation is an algebraic equation in which each term is either a constant or the product of a constant and the first power of a single variable. Polynomial equations, also called algebraic equation, is an equation in which a polynomial is set equal to another polynomial. So, ito ang example. 3x squared plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. Pag wala ito, 3x squared, so ibig sabihin yan, linear equation. Linear equation in one unknown. So, an equation of the shape ax plus b is equal to 0 where a and b, the known numbers, x is an unknown value, is called a linear equation in one unknown. So, ito mga examples. Solve for x and the equation 2 is plus 4 is equal to 8. So, what is the answer? Solution. So, may instruction pa. Moving, transmos, transposing 4 to the other side. Ito, right hand side. 2x is equal to 8 minus 4. Transpose. So, maging minus siya. So, 2x is equal to 4. So, taking 2, what is multiplying quantity 2, left hand side is x is equal to 4 over 2. So, the answer is 2. So, mabisa review lang to. Linear equation in two or more unknowns. So, linear equation in two unknowns, x and y, is an equation of the form ax plus by is equal to c, where a and b, c, uh, a, b and c are numbers, and where a and b are not both zero. Ito yung methods, method of substitution.
Solving simultaneous equation means finding the values of x and y that makes them true. So example number two. Solve for x and y and x plus y is equal to 3 and 2x plus y is equal to 8. So ano yung, ano yung answer dyan? So solution. Uh, uh, step by step, isolate one of the variable x on one side of the equation. X plus y is equal to 3. So isolating x prime. Ano tayo ah? Substitution. Substitute for the isolated variable in the other, in the other equation. So, 2x plus 3y is equal to 8. So, substitute mo siya. So, ang solve mo, magiging 2 times 3 minus y plus 3y. This equation has only one variable, so we can solve it. So, solve for y. Ito. Expanding the bracket. So, 6 minus 2y plus 3y is equal to 0. And simplifying, 6 plus y is equal to 8. So, subtracting 6 from both sides, y is equal to 2. Okay? Substitute the known value of y into the equation for x, for x derived in step a. So, x is equal to 3 minus y or 3 minus 2. So, x is equal to 1. So, the answer is, mauna yung x, 1 and 2. So, letter C. Diba? 1 into, nauna lagi yung x. Makasagutin nyo, 2, 1. Wag. So, ito sagot para dito is letter A, 2. Next is the method of elimination. So, the method of elimination, tinatanong pa to sa board exam. Tinatanong nga yung last time, yung mga units. So, the method of elimination is an algebraic way of obtaining the exact solution solutions of a system of equation in two unknowns by manipulating the equations in such a way to eliminate the variables x and y. Mamanipulate mo sa paano siyang mawala yung isa doon na variable. So, solve. Example number 3. Solve for x and y and 2x plus ty is equal to 4 and x minus ty is equal to 2. So, andyan yung mga selection. Solution, simply add this equation. Add the left-hand side and the right-hand side. The y's cancel out. So, we get 3x. Add mo lang to. 3x is equal to 6. So, giving x equal to 2. Okay. Obtain y by substituting x in either of the two equations. So, 2 times 2 plus 3y is equal to 4. So, giving y is equal to 0. x is equal to 2. So, the solution is xy. So, yan. Mauna yung x. So, this is 2, 0. Letter B. So, marami pa to. Review nyo na lang. Pagkuha ng pag-solve. Next, method of determinant. Kramer's rule. O yung mga kraming. Solution x, y of the system a1, x plus b1, y is equal to c1. a2, x plus b2, x, y is equal to c2. So, can be found using determinants. So, x equal to c1. Ito yung determinants, matrix. Ito yung mat upper matrix and lower matrix. So, y is already ang formula sa upper matrix and the lower. So, solve for x and y. 5x plus 3y is equal to negative 11 and 2x plus 4y is negative 10. Solution. So, kunin mo yung formula lang yun. So, pichot mo. X. Ito. So, negative 11, negative 10, 3, 4. So, ito naman. So, ito yung determinants D. So, negative 4 times 11 minus 3 times negative 10. So, 5 times 4 minus. Yan. Ito muna. Pababa. Then, minus mo yung ito naman. Kung gusto mo pababa pa rin, ito ganyan, pababa. So, y ganun din, so negative 2. So, negative 1 and negative 2, so letter C. Pag ano lang, oper, uh, paggamit ng matrix. Next, quadratic equation. This is a second order polynomial equation in a single variable x. So, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 when a is not equal to 0. Kasi magiging linear yan pag 0. So, using the quadratic formula, so, if factorable, so ito muna, so factorization. So, sa quadratic equation, 3x squared minus 11x minus 4 is equal to 0. Pag na-determine mo itong exact, 3x plus 1 times x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, the answer is 
x mo is negative 1 third and x, dalawa yan ang sagot na x, all four. So, using the quadratic formula naman, 3x squared minus 5x is equal to negative 8. So, hindi ka sure na kung eksakto siya. So, kasi ga ito. Yan, di ba? So, a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 5, c is equal to negative 8. So, itong quadratic, magkukuha mo yung mga may points, may decimal places. Yan. Hindi eksakt. Hindi eksakt yung, ano mo, hindi mo siya mapaktol. So, 4ac is equal to, 4 times 3 times negative 8 times negative 96. So, x equal to negative b plus or minus. The square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, x equal to, substitute mo lang yun. Lalabas, x is equal to, dito tayo, 5 plus or minus 11 over 6. So, use positive and negative. Lalabas, x is equal to 8 over 3 or negative 1. Yan ang value niya para masatisfy mo yung equation. Pero sa problem solving, bolded problem, minsan nawawala yung isa dyan. Absorbed. So, hindi sa qualified tulad yung distance pinapahanap. So, wala to kasi walang distance na negative. Competing the squares. And the different variation of the quadratic equation, this method maybe is here to apply. So, una yung factoring. Node for that equation. Next, completing the square. So, we have example. 2x squared minus 9x equal to 12x. So, naulit lang siya. So, 2x squared minus 12x minus 9 is equal to 0. So, yan. Yung equation. Quadratic equation na. So, magiging 2x squared minus 12x is equal to 9. So, ito yung dalawang x dito. Dito yung wala ng x. So, x squared minus 6, x is equal to 9 over 2. So, para maging x squared yun. <coughs> so, negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. So, negative 3 times 2 is 9. So, itong 9, squared yan na squared. So, ito, negative 3 squared is 9. So, ang... So, meron ka nang, makakakomplete ka ng square dito. Ito, x squared minus 6, x plus 9 is a complete square. Ito yung 9. Diba, dinibide mo ito, in square mo, so yun. Ha, complete na yung square mo dito. So, ano naman dito? Kung nagdagdag ka ng 9 dito, magdagdag ka rin ng 9 doon. So, itong, itong complete square na to is x minus 3 times x minus 3. It's equal to 9 over 2 plus 18 over 2. Dinibide ko lang ito para ma-add mo yung 9 plus 18. So, magiging 27 over 2. So, x is equal to 3 plus or minus 3 times the square root of 6 over 2. Next tayo. Binomial is an algebra. Binomial and Pascal triangle tayo. Binomial is an algebraic expression containing two terms. For example, x plus y is a binomial. Okay? So, expansion of binomial. So, expand natin. Kung ano yung exponent niya sa 0. A plus B exponent 0 is 1. A plus B exponent 1 is A plus B. A plus B squared is equal to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. So, yan. So, dito makakabukan ng tinatawag na Pascal triangle. Lahat to 1. So, ito na yung Pascal triangle. Binomial Turing formula. So, important ito. So, mas may master plumbing o sa ibang math. Engineering. So, based on the binomial properties, the binomial theorem states that the following binomial formula is valid for all positive integers values of n. So, a plus b exponent n is equal to a n plus n a exponent n minus 1 b plus n times n minus 1 2 prime times a n minus 2 b squared and so on. Okay? This can be written more simply as a plus b exponent n is equal to C O N C O. Later the combination. This is combination of N O zero times A exponent N plus the combination of N is to what to one uh, and so on. The combination yeah. So the R term of the expansion of A plus B. So at any term is N factorial over R minus one factorial times N ma minus R plus one factorial times A exponent N minus one plus R over B. R minus 1. So, yung nauna to kasi sa, sa ibang combination permutation, di ba? 
So, ito. Ito yung formula niya. Kung memorize mo to Kasi yan yung magiging pag-question ka pag tinanong ka ng at ano, ano yung coefficient kanya sa 15th term of the expansion ganito. Yan. Do mo yan. So example number 5. Find the sum of the coefficient of the expansion of 2x cubed plus 3y squared exponent 4. So the sum yan is ang coefficient niya ito. A plus B is point N. So, itong equivalent niya. So, 2x cubed plus 3y squared is point 4. So, ito yung equivalent niya. Di ba? 4. So, using x as 1 and y as 1 will give only the sum of coefficient. So, dito makikita mo, pag 1, 1, 1 yan. So, ito na yun. 2 plus 3 is point 4 is 6, 2, 5. Okay? Is, yeah, kung kung pamilya ka dito, madali na pag-solve nyo ng mga may tricks, tricky questions sa math. Sample number 6. Find the term containing exponent 9 in the expansion x cubed plus 1 over x point 11. So let the term containing exponent 9 be the r term. Okay? Solution n is equal to 11. So n factorial over r minus 1 factorial over over n minus 1 plus r factorial times x point n minus r plus 1 base point r minus 1. So, budget mo yung values mo. So, ang a mo is x cubed. Ang b mo is 1 over x. So, lalawas dito, itong sa taas is <coughs> ang sabi kasi 9 term. Eh. So, ito is magiging yung total ng exponent mo is 9. Diba? 3n minus 3r plus 3. So, alam yun ng loob, loob exponent. Yan. Ito yan. Plus, since x is na baba, so may negative yung exponent. Magiging x exponent negative of r minus 1 to. Or negative r plus 1. So, magiging minus r plus 1 is equal to 9. So, ito na yan. So, since n mo is 11, so substitute mo. So, 3 times 11 minus 3 r plus 3 minus r plus 1 is 9. So, r is equal to 7. So, therefore, substitute mo yung r dito. Saka yung n11, itong lalabas, x exponent na. So, the answer is 462x exponent 9. So, letter C. Okay? So, medyo mahirap. <laughs> Yan. Parang sa quiz. Quizers. So, edge algebra world problem na tayo. Mga world then. So, unang ko, sikat na sikat dun is yung age problem. Hanggang ngayon sa internet. Age problem are algebra world problem that deal with the ages of people currently in the past or in the future. So, example number 7. John is twice as old as his friend, Peter. Peter is 5 years older than Alice. So, in 5 years, so John will be 3 times as old as Alice. How old is Peter now? So, dyan, ito yung problem mo. So, step one, set up a table. Yan, Peter Alice. So, age now, age in five years. Then, fill in the table with information given in the table. Let X, the Peter's age, now add, get to five ages, to get the ages in five years. So, thank you, Peter. Nagdaga mo ng five. So, si Jan is twice as old as his Peter present ito. So, to X. So, uh, so... So, then after 5 years, ito, 2x plus 5, diba? So, si Alice, Peter is older, 5 years older than Alice. Kulang sa problem. Ah, ito, in 5 years. O, oh, kanya pala yung nanap ko. Natakpan. Okay? So, so therefore, si Alice is X minus 5. Kasi mas patanod si Peter. 
So, nyan. So, after 5 years, ito na, x minus 5 plus 5. Now, what, write the new relationship in an equation using the ages in 5 years. So, ito na. In 5 years, Jan will be 3 times as old as Alice. So, 2x plus 5 is equal to 3 times x minus 5 plus 5. Hindi ko tinatanggal ito para, ma, para clear. So, si Jan is 3 times as age of Alice. So, 2x plus 5 is equal to 3x. So, x is equal 5. Therefore, yung x is age ni Peter. So, Peter is now 5 years old. Gets? Next problem is, uh, algebra word problem is the clock angle problem. Clock angle problems are a type of mathematical problem which involve finding the angles between the hands of an analog and clock. So, basics. Angle problem to, so basta clock problems to. Okay? So, for every, ayo, tama, dig this din pasi. Basics. For every 60 units that a minute hand move in an hour, the hour moves 5 units. Yan. Yung units yung guit guit doon. For 12 hours, the hour and completes 360 degrees. So, 1 hour is 360 over 12 or 30 degrees. 60 minutes is 30 degrees. Degree turn by hour and in 1 minute is 0.5 degrees. For 1 hour, the main minute hand completes 360 degrees. 1 hour is 360 degrees. 60 minutes is 360 degrees. Lahat yan. Degree turn by minute hand in 1 minute is 6 degrees. So, yan. Mga notes. Example number 8. How many minutes after 5 p.m. will the hands of the clock perpendicular for the second time? Solution. So, gawa ka ng nilo. Huwag yung digital. So, iset mo to. Kasi mayroon magchamba niyan. Para makuha mo tong figure. So, let x be the number of minutes. Okay? Yan. Kamitin mo yan. Huwag yung masyadong genius na sa isip mo. Nung iikot na yung mo. Malo. So, dito, gagawa ka na how many minutes after 5 p.m.? Asan yung 5 p.m.? Ito. So, yan yung 5. So, nag-ano ka ng... Uh, perpendicular. So, that is 90 degrees for the second time. So, first time, siyempre dito yon. So, second time, lampas na. Okay. Diba? Kumuha ka ng dalawang beses mula sa 5, ano, ikot mo siya. So, una. So, pangalawa, dito siya. So, ano yung ano ng perpendicular? That is 15 minutes. Diba? 15 minutes yan. So, 25. So, this is... Hmm... So, a 90 degrees is 15 minutes. So, so dito, up, magpupura ka ng 5. So, ito is 25. So, 25 minutes yan. Ang gap niyan. Distance niyan sa so, si, si 12 to 5. Tapos, yung gap nito, ito yung, kasi 5, eh, move niya. Ang total nito is x over 12. Yan. So, from the figure, let x be the number of minutes. So, x, x in total minutes niya is equal to 15 plus x over 12 plus 25. Ito yung move, uh, na move ng hand. Okay? So, doon sa ano natin, 12. x is equal to 43 and 7 over 11 minutes. Ang tanong is how many minutes. So, yan. Hindi naman tayo matinanong eh. Okay? Let us see. <laughs> Next, malaki pag-lasing clock problem. Check nyo na lang ibang reviewers. Uniform motion problem. Motion problem are based on the formula distance is equal to rate times time. Now, in solving motion problems, I sketch is often helpful and a table can be used for organizing information. Okay. So, example number nine. John and Philip, who lives who live 14 miles apart, start at noon to walk toward each other at rates of 3 miles per hour and 4 miles per hour respectively. In how many hours will they meet? Solution. So, sabi nga, itable mo or tabulate. So, let X the time walk. So, John and Philip, rate D and D. 
So R is 3 and 4. Time is X and X. Same siya, di ba? Kasi how many hours? So same on time niya. So distance is 3X and 4X. So the total, si magsasalubong siya. So yung total niya is 3X plus 4X is equal to 14. So X is equal to 2 hours. They will mate in 2 hours. Okay. Simple. Number 10. May nawala dito. Ay, tama ka. Ayan. Oops. Nag-animate pala. So, ayan. So, down river and up river. Okay? Down river, so, yung current mo, saka yung boat, same direction. Pag up river, opposite yung boat. Okay? So, rate is, yung current mo is four times the current of the river. Like still. So, 4x, ito yung still water, yung hindi gumagalaw yung tubig, 4x. Since gumalaw, plus x. Up river, 4x, gumalaw yung tubig mo, opposite, minus x. So, the time is, uh, dito, Yung isa, 5 trip hours and return. So, itong return, ito yung opposite, di ba? So, 15 over 5x is equal to 3 over x. 15 over 3x is 5x. So, ang yung 3 and 5. Wait na. So, distance is 15 and 15. So, 15 mile trip up to... Ito yung 5x. 4x plus 5x is yan. So, ito naman. 3x to. 4x minus x is 3x. So, yan. So, this is, ang distance is 15 and 15. So, 15 divided by the to is 3 over x. Yan. The stabilization, pwede mo balik-balik ta rin. So, So, the time is 4 hours. So, distance is about 15. So, 15 divided by, i-add mo tong time, 3 over x plus 5 over x is equal to 4 hours. So, so, magiging 3 plus 5 is equal to 4x kasi yung x may multiply mo doon. So, 8 is equal to 4x. So, x is equal to 2. Or the rate of current is 2 miles per hour. Next is the mixture problem. Mixtures are world problems where items are quantities of different values are mixed together. Yung na yung trip, hindi yung round trip. So example number 11. John has 20 ounces of 20% salt. How much salt should he add to make it 25% solution? So ito yung solution. Step 1, set up table for the salt. So concentration amount. Original, added, and result na yung format. So, step 2, fill in the table with information given in the question. So, the salt added is 100% salt, which is 1 in decimal. So, change all the percent to decimal. So, let x amount of salt added. The result will be 20 plus x. So, concentration is 20%, is 0.2. In add mo na ang 1. Ito yung salt. 100% salt. Is, the result is 0.25. Solution. So, total amount is 20. Then, nagdagdag ka ng X. So, this is 20 plus X. Okay. Then, multiplying down its column. So, 0 0.2 times 20 is ito. 1 times x ito. Then, the result is 0.25 times 20 plus x. 
original plus added is equal to the result. So 0.2 times 20 plus 1 times x is 0.25 times 20 plus x. So 4 plus x is equal to 5 plus 0.25. Isolate variable x. So x now is 4 over 3. So the answer is 4 over 3 ounces of salt. Ito, letter A. Example number 12. How many pounds of chocolate worth $1.2 a pound mix, must be mixed with 10 pounds of chocolate worth 90 cents a pound to produce mixture of $1, pound, $1 a pound? Step on again, yung table. Ito yun, ulit. Cost na to, hindi concentration. Then, fill the table. So, original is zero. Amount is 10. Added is $1.2 dollars. I think in add more. But this is not zero, ah. Point nine to. Right. Only yung pagka-type. So, yeah. Ito yung point nine na. Point nine. So, multiply down its column. Down. Point nine times 10 is point nine. Yan. 1.2x. Then, 1 times x plus 10. Equate mo yan. Original plus added is equal to the result. So, 0.9 times 10 plus 1.2 times x is 1 times x plus 10. So, for x, magiging 5. So, 5 pounds of 1.2 dollar chocolate needs to be added. So, the answer is 1.2. Yan, letter A. Okay. So, uh, digit problems, mga numbers. Digit word problems are problems that involve individual digits in integers and how digits are related according to the questions. So, uh, example number 13. The tenth digit of a number is three times one's digit. So, the sum of the digit in the number is eight. What is the number? So, dalawa lang. Tens digit and ones digit. So, yan. Ang A, B, C, D. So, two numbers lang. Solution. One sentence. The ten digit of a number is three times the ones digit. Assign variable. Let X is the ones digit. Three X is the tens digit. Three times, eh? So, sentence. The sum of the digits in the number is eight. So, X plus three X is equal to eight. Solve the equation. So, X is equal to two. So the one digit, the tenth digit is three times two times three is six. So the answer is six two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So hindi tong x ang sagot kundi yung tinatanong niya is ano yung number. Sample number fourteen. The sum of the digits of two digit number is eleven. If we interchange the digit, then the new number form is forty five less than the original number. So, find the original number. So, step one. Assign variable. Let x is the ones digit. T is the tens digit. Pretty man, why? So, sentence. The sum of the digits of the two number is 11. So, x plus t is equal to 11. So, isolate variable x. So, x is equal to 11 minus t. So, masusubla tayo una is t, which is the tens digit. So, convert digits to number. Original number is 10t plus X. Kasi yung test digit to yung T. Interchange number is 10X plus T. So, interchange mo yung uh, numero. Ito magiging sa tens. Ito magiging sa unit. So, if we interchange the digit, then the number form is 45 less than the original. So, interchange is the original minus 45. So, ito yun. X times 10. Ito yun. 10X plus T is equal to T times 10. Ito yung 10T. Plus x minus 45. Ito yung original eh. So, 10x plus, ito na yan, minus 45. Gumawa pa nun. So, 90, 10x minus x is equal to 9x plus 45. 10t minus t is 9. 
So, itong plus kasi, ito na yan. 9x plus 45 suppose 90. So, solve for, so, pichot mo na, 90 is equal to 9 times 11 minus t plus 45. Solve for t, t is equal to 8. So, this is the 10th digit. So, the 1th digit is 11 minus 8 is 3. So, the answer is 83. Ayan. Atang D. Kala mo, puro A. Next, consecutive integers number. So, consecutive integer problems are word problems that involve consecutive integers. Consecutive integers are integers that follow in sequence. Each number being one more than the previous number. Represented by n, n plus 1, n, n plus 2, plus n plus 2. Where n is any integer. Okay? Here naman tayong consecutive add numbers, consecutive even numbers. Ibig sabihin nun, plus 2, hindi plus 1. So example number 15, John has a board that is 5 feet long. He plans to use it to make four shelves whose length are to be a series of consecutive even number. How should each shelf be in inches? How long should each shelf be in inches? Okay. Apat siya apat. So solution is step one, being consecutive even number, we need to add two. To the previous number. So assign variables x length of first shelf, x plus 2 length of second shelf, x plus 4 length of third shelf, x plus 6 is equal to length of first shelf. Convert 5 feet to inches, because inches shiny, in inches. So 60. So the sum of four shelf now is x, x plus 2 plus x plus 4 plus x plus 6 is 60. Then combine like terms, like animate. 4x plus 12 is 60. So isolate variable x. So 4x is equal to x is equal to 12. So check your answer, 60. So the length is 12, 14, 16, and 18. So ito yung isimbag mo. 12, 14, 16. Ito yung ulit. Okay. Integer world problem. Integer world problem are world problems that involve integers and how they are related according to the question. So example number 16. Initially, there were the no same number of blue marbles and red marbles in a bag equal. John took five blue marbles and then there were twice as many red marbles, marbles as blue marbles in the bag. How many red marble, marbles are there in the bag? Solution is step one. Let X red marbles. Initial sequence. Initially, Blue marbles and red marbles is equal to X. So then John took out five blue marbles. So matitira is X minus five blue marbles. Sentence, since the, the uh, since sentence, twice as many red mar marbles as blue marbles in the bag. So X equal to two times X minus five. So ito na yung red marbles. So some the equation, so magiging X is 10. So 10 marbles in the bag. Letter B. Next, percentage problem. Problem that deals deal with percentage increase and decrease as well as problems of percents of quantity. So the agrarian reform program is to grant a retention limit of 10 hectares. If the landowner was left with 10 hectares, fewer than 40% of his land after selling 6 hectares, more than 70% of his land, what size land did he initially own? A. Let X the size of land initially owned. So, sabi niya, the size of land sold is 40% of land initially. Tapos yung natira is 10. So the size of land a fewer. Okay. Fewer than 40%. So 0.4x minus 10 is the size of land left. So ito natira. So equation. So ano natira is x minus 0.7x plus 6. So ito rin yung size of land left. So equal mo to sa 0.4x minus 10. So magiging 40 hectares yung initially on niya. Okay? Yan, letter B. So, sa mga nagtigtig ng master plumber, nakasama rin to. Work problems. 
Work problems are world problems that involve different people doing work together but at different rates. So the formula for work problems that involve two persons is 1 over T1 plus 1 over T2 is equal to 1 over TB. T1, time taken by first person. T2 is time taken by second person. This formula can be extended for more than two persons. It can also be used in problems that involve five filling up tank. So example number 18. So yan. A tank can be filled by a pipe A in three hours and by pipe B in five hours. When the tank is full, it can be drained by pipe C in four hours. If the tank is initially empty and all three pipes are open, how many hours will it take to fill up the tank? Okay. Assign a variable. X, time taken to fill up the tank. So, use the formula. Since pipe C drains the water, it is subtracted. So, ito yung nag-add. 1, 3, plus 1 over 5 minus nag-drain sa 1 over 4 is equal to 1 over X. So, solve for X. Okay? So, LCM yan. So, X is equal to 60 over 17 is 3 and 9, 17. So, yan. Okay? So, marami pang technique dito sa ano asa na po na ito, work problems. So, 3 and 9, 17. So, letter B. Next, investment problem. For example lang na bang pampaalala. Investment problem usually involves simple annual interest as opposed to compound and compounded interest. Using the form interest formula I is equal to PLT where I stands for the interest on the original investment. P stands for the amount of original investment, investment called the principal. R is the interest rate expressed in decimal form and T is the time. Sample number 19. A man invested part of 20,000 pesos at 18% and the rest at 16%. The annual income from 16% investment was 620 pesos less than three times the annual income from 18% investment. How much did he invest at 18%? We random random lam yung sagot. Kuyata gumawa yan. So solution X man invested at 18%. So, 20,000 minus X is the money invested at 16%. Basahan niya sa problem. So, that is now 0.16 times 20,000 minus X is equal to 3 times 0.18 X minus 60. So, X is 5.57.14. Okay? Basahan niya yung problem. Letter A. Ah, gawa ko nga. Coin problem. So, problems that involve pennies, nickels, Dimes, quarter, or half dollars. Sinabay ko to. Pwede yung mga peso, sinta, uh, 25 cents yan, pwede yan. Other similar algebra word problem may involve items with specific values like stamps or ticket. Okay? John, example number 20. John bought a pencil in receipt change for $3 in 20 coins. All nickels and quarters, how many it of each kind are given? Okay? Sa problem, uh, ano yun kung ano, one quarter is 0.25 cents. A half dollar, siyempre 0.5 dollar. This is 0.25 cents. Dime, 0.10, 10. Okay? So, Jane, ayan, so set up a table with quantity in value. So, nickel, quarter, put together. So, ayan. So, fill in the table with information from the question. Let N, number of nickel, scale number of quarters. So, and two, ang value niya is 5 cents. 20 quarter is 25 cents. So, cents tayo. 3 dollars is 300 cents. Kaya, eh, 300 to. So, multiply mo doon, multiply mo doon. So, total quantity is 20. So, add down its column to get the equation. So, n plus q is 20. Equation 1. 5n plus 25q is 300. So, equation 2. Solve for n and p. So you have Q is 10 and N is 10. So that is 10 and 10. That'll be. Geometry word problem. So geometry word problem involves geometric figures in angles described in words. Example number 21. So geometry, ganun din. Okay. A triangle as a perimeter of 50. If two of its sides are equal and third side is five more than the equal side, what is the length of the Third side. 
in detail sa geometry to topic. So yan, assign ang variables. Kung baga, solution niya is algebra method lang. Let x, the length of equal side. So sa figure ito, x. Equal side is x, x. And the third is more than 5. So x plus 5. The perimeter, ito yung formula ng perimeter. So is, i-add mo lahat yun. It's 50. So 50 is equal to x plus x plus x plus 5. So, x is equal to 15. So, the length of third side is 15 plus 5. So, 20. Method D. Simultaneous equation. Equation that must be solved at the same time or simultaneous equation. If, if I double a number and add three times a second number, the answer is 1. If I multiply the first number by 3 and take away minus Twice, the second number, the answer is 8. Find the number. So, rate the numbers x and y. So, 2x plus 3y is 1. Ito yun. So, double a number, 2x plus 3y. The second number. So, ito naman, three, first number, 3x minus 2y is 8. So, solving power x and y. So, magiging y is negative 1, x is 2. In order 2 and negative 1. Yeah, letter A. Quadratic equations. Problem using quadratic equation to solve all problem. Okay. A motorboat makes a round trip. On a river. 56 miles upstream and 56 miles downstream, maintaining the constant speed 15 miles per hour relative to the water. The entire trip up and back takes 7.5 hours. What is the speed of the current? So, solution. Let x the unknown current speed of the river in miles per hour. Yung is, uh, what, oh, yan yung current. Yung flow ng river. Moving up steam, this speed relative to the bank of the river is 15 minus x. Miles per hour pataas. Time is spent moving up steam is 56 over 15 minus x hours. Moving downstream, this speed relative to the bank is 15 plus x. So time is speed moving down is 56 over 15 plus kasi sabay siya sa agos. So, the total time up and back is 56 over 15 minus x plus 56 over 15 plus x is 7.5 hours. Entire trip. Then, solve mo na to, 56 times 15 plus x plus 56 times 15 minus x is equal to 7.5 times 15 minus x times 15 plus x. So, makakaproduce ka ng quadratic equation which is x squared is equal 225 minus 224. So, magiging x is plus or minus 1. Use x is equal to 1 kasi positive ang kailangan ng value. So the answer is 1 mile per hour. Letter B. The Eupantene equation. The Eupantene equation is an indeterminate polynomial equation that allows the variable to be integer only. So big sabihin, hindi sa, wala siyang fraction, wala siyang decimal. Whole number. Do you problems have few well equations than unknown variable and involve finding integers that work correctly for all equations? Ang baga example is three equations, uh, three unknowns, two equations. Ano yung pangatlo? Ito is condition. And third condition is whole number dapat ang sagot mo. Para nito. Sample number 24. John has bought 45 postcard for 14 bucks. There are three types of postcard. The first type costs 15 cents, second costs 20 cents, and the third costs 35 cents. How many of each type Jan has bought? Ngayon, hindi ka pwedeng mag one up postcard. 0.33 or 0.45 postcard. Okay? So, kaya dapat ang postcard mo is whole number. Solution. Let X and Y and C are the quantities of each type of postcard. Equation 1. Is x plus y plus c and total is 45. Equation 2 is you multiply mo yung bilang cost. 0.15x plus 0.2y plus 0.35c is 14 bucks. 
or dollar. Of course, x, y, and c has to be a whole number higher than 0. So from equation 1, c is equal to 45 minus x minus 1. He arrange mo to. So magiging, so bichot mo, so magiging 0.2x plus 0.15y is 1.75. So x is magiging 8.75 minus 0.75. So dito, mag trial and error ka from 1 na makaka uh, guha ng value na x na whole number din. So by trial and error, may nawawala. Meron to. Nawala. So, by trial and error, so, nag-try ka ng 1 to 4, then, mag-abot ka sa 5. Y is 5. So, X is equal to 5. So, C is also 45 minus 5 minus 5 is 35. So, the answer, the only answer is X is equal to 5, Y is equal to 5, and C is 35. Yan. X, Y, and C. So, so, dyan, ha? Okay? That is the yung pantain equation. Maraming case shot. Next is the proportions and variations naman tayo. Variations describe the way in which two variables change relative to one another. So, it is, ano, varies with, ano, ganito, x, y, varies with x, kasabay siya. Proportion is an equation that is stating the two rational expressions are equal. Simple proportion can be solved by applying the cross product. So, if a over b is equal to c over c, then proportion then a, b is equal to b, c. Example 25, solve for x over 15 is equal to 7 over 8. So, dali lang yan. Solve for x is 1 over 5 over 8. Ito si. So, nasa answer niya, pero ang talagang tamang answer, isisimplify mo pa yan. Yun, may fraction. So, since verdict sa multiple choice, ginagawa nila is yung pampalito. Next, direct variation. So, ito yan. The phrase y varies directly as x or y is directly proportional to x, means that as the x gets bigger, so does y. And as x gets smaller, so does y. So the concept can be translated in two ways. For some constant, y over x equal to k. So k is called the constant of proportionality. This translation is used when the constant is the desired. Or y of 1 over x1 is equal to y2 over x2. This translation is used when the desired result is either an original or new value of x or y. Okay. Sample number 26. If y varies directly as x and y is equal to 10 when x is equal to 7, find the constant of proportionality. So solution, that is k is equal to y over x or 10 over 7. That is letter b. If y varies directly like x and y is 10, x is 7, find y when x is 12. So proportion, y1 over x1 is equal to y2 over x2, sin over y is equal to y over 12, apply the cross product, y is equal to 120 over 7, so letter A. Okay? Take note, hindi naman ito, sa so multiple choice lang to. So presentation, kailangan mo siya i-simplify. Inverse variation, so... The phrase y varies inversely as x or y is inversely proportional to x means that as x gets bigger, y gets smaller or vice versa. This concept is translated in two ways. Y x is equal to k for some constant k, called the constant of proportionality. Use this translation if constant is desired. So, dito naman sa isa, y1 x1 is equal to y2 x2. Use this translation if a value of x or y is desired. Sample number 28. If y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 4 when x is equal to 3, one, find the constant of proportionality. So multiply mo lang yun, that is 12. Ito naman, okay? So joint variation. If one variable varies as the product of other variables, it is called joint variation. So the, par, the phrase y varies jointly as x and y is translated in two ways. y over x, c is equal to k. If the constant is desired, y1 over x1, c1 is equal to y2, x2, c2 if one variable is desired. Parang uh, mga gaslo. 
Sample number 29. If y varies jointly as x and y, and y is 10 when x is 4 and c is 5, find the constant of proportionality. That is, k is equal to y over xc. So that is 1 up. 10 over 4 over 5. So 1 up. Example number 30. If y varies jointly as x and c, y is 12 when x is 2 and c is 3. Find y is x equals 7 and 4. So y1 over x1 c1 is equal to y2 over x2 c2. So 2, 12 over 2 over 3 is equal to y over 7, 4. So y is 56. Okay. Occasionally, a problem with direct and inverse variation. Suppose that y varies directly as x and inversely as c. This involves three variables and can be translated into ways. Yc over x is equal to k if the constant is desired. And the other one, y1, c1, x1 is equal to y2, c2 over c2, x2. So next, tap tayo. Pasakal natin na tayo eh. So, ano tayo? 